Hello everybody and welcome to another Camilla Crossing video and uh, as you can see my character here is uh, Tadaring very clearly um, uh, we're going to be talking about money trees today um, so I'm going to explain um, tips and tricks uh, basically everything to do with money trees what you need to know, what you don't need to know kind of that's what this video is going to be about so first of all uh, as you can see I've got four of the five stages um, of money trees they're just the same as any other tree they start off as a sapling they then turn into a young tree then a medium then a larger one and then the foreground one which they will produce the money now money trees they only produce three bags once once you shake that tree it's just a normal tree and that you might as well chop it down or move it whatever you want to do with it but it's no longer a money tree it is no longer special um so there you go as you can see ten thousand bells thank you very much now um you will get the way you get the money trees is you will find somewhere around your town there will be a shining beam of of light now um that depends where it appears it varies um from day to day uh, we can quickly trick it, track it down now. Right, so we have tracked down our daily money tree spot, as you can see. Let me just get the camera in case it doesn't does look hard to point out. See this little sparkling dot of light? That is where your money tree is going to be. So what you need to do is you need to get a shovel. And you then dig it up, you will get 1,000 bells. Now it's up to you how much money you want to put in a money tree. It does vary on personal preference in the sense that the most you can put in is 99,000 bells and the least you can put in is 1,000. Now there is only a 30, I believe a 30% chance that you will get the same amount per money bag back. So if you had to put 90,000 bells in, you've only got a 30% 30 30 chance of getting each bag of being 90,000 bells if that makes sense um, so it is a bit of a gamble because you've still got 70% chance you are only going to get 10,000 bells each back so you've got a loss of 60,000 bells so it is a bit of a risk it is up to you if you have some extra bells lying around it is worth doing um, but if you don't like to risk it I would probably do only a maximum of 10,000 bells because um, then you're not really losing out anything but I wouldn't unless you have a lot of money to spend I wouldn't recommend putting any more than 10,000 bells in so we shall put let's put 10,000 this time there we go so you bury it in the hole another thing uh, some people don't know is you can now dig up your money tree as you saw previously I had all my money trees in one area I do highly recommend that because it allows you to keep track of them in case you are growing other trees in other areas and you might not be able to remember whether that's a money tree or not unless you dig it up it's a bit of a pain so if they're all in one area it's a lot easier to organize and a lot easier to keep track of what's going on so as you can see I've got a set of areas here I oh, yes I know it looks a bit much but I was bored one day and decided I need a designated money area um, is up to you how you want to design it i know some people can keep it very simple some people can make it very overly opulent like i have it's up to personal preference how you want to design it um but yeah so that is the money trees i believe that is all um regarding them uh i don't think there's anything else that you're required to know if anyone doesn't have any questions money trees if i wasn't very clear or i didn't explain myself fully um you weren't able to understand exactly what I was getting at then please leave a comment below and I'll happily answer any questions you have as you can see now that money tree that I um, got the money from is no use I have now dug it up and now I've got a blank space ready for tomorrow's money tree so there you go guys if you've enjoyed this video and you've learned anything from it at all um, hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button it would help me out a lot and uh, I'll see you in the next one guys bye